Hello everyone, in this video, I wanna cover 1983 New York State Math League individual round number four. And so here we go. Uh, the length of each side of a regular hexagon, A, B, C, D, E, F is two. Well, well, I gotta, I gotta plot A, B, and C, D, E, and F. All right, so hopefully that looks like a hexagon, regular hexagon to your eyes. And we have A, B, and C are the lengths, are the centers of three mutually externally tangent circles. Compute the radius of the smallest of these circles. All right, so here we go. Uh, we, 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 gotta, we gotta try out lots of experiments, but I need to make sure that the, the circles that are drawn at A and circles that are drawn at C and the circles drawn at B are externally tangent, so probably they're having some small circle out there. And we got a huge circle, and we got another huge circle, so that we have externally tangent in this picture. Okay, so here we go. We know that these are two, and we know that these are also uh, two as well. The side lengths are all given as two. And I need to find out the smallest of the, out of the radar, I need to find out the smallest of those things. Well, I know that the triangles A, uh, the center at A and tri, uh, the, sorry, like the circle centered at A and circle centered at C, they have the same radius. They have the same radii. Why? Because they're externally tangent and there you can see the sy symmetry behind those lines. Okay. So uh, what do I know about this AC? Well, I think we can actually get AC as using law of cosines, or you can use the Pythagoras. If I, if I extend this AB all the way on to that level, and that becomes, you know, like one and rad three, or you can actually uh, get those AC as just law of cosines. And if I use law of cosines, well, it's two squared plus two squared minus two times two times two cosine 120, okay? All right, so cosine 120, that becomes eight, minus what is this that becomes eight uh times cosine 120 and cosine 120 does look like negative one half All right so we have negative one half so that becomes 12. so we get ac squared i totally would have forgotten but ac is going to be square root of 12 and that becomes two square root of three okay so we have two square root of three so half of it becomes rat three and rad three. Now you know that the radius of that, you know, like the, the, the radius root three is also, uh, well, it can be written as root three along that point that we can call it as T or whatever. We're not gonna label it, but we know the point of tangency all the way to the center, that's gonna be root three. So that point tangency, the, the point of tangency between the circle centered at A and circle centered at B, well, from that point to uh, point B, it would be, two minus rad three. So the smallest that we need to find, so we're comparing all those radii, right? The length of radii, and we have all those radii known as rad three and rad three, and we have two minus rad three. So out of these, all of these rad radii, well, then that becomes the smallest. And of course, our answer to this question must be two minus rad three. 